I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R750. In this video, we're gonna specifically focus on how to update your BIOS. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today. It's a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R750 server. Do us a favor, find anything that helps you in this video, click that like, smash that subscribe. All right, we'll top in. This video will be specifically dedicated to how to update your BIOS. So all you're gonna need in this video is a USB drive. That is all you're gonna need. So what we're gonna do in this video is show you how to first off get the EFI file, and then we're gonna show you how to create a bootable USB, and then we're gonna show you how to take the EFI file and put it onto your bootable USB, and then we're simply just gonna pop it into the back of our server and show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to actually run the update. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so what we're gonna do now is show you how to update the BIOS step-by-step -step instructions for your 15th gen server. So the way we're gonna do it is if you do not have an operating system, this is just a quick and easy way to update your BIOS, assuming that you don't have a hard drive or maybe you don't have a network connection. This will only require a USB thumb drive and a computer that does have internet access. All right, so now we're gonna download the BIOS EFI file. So in order to do this, we are gonna head over to dell.com and we're gonna hover over the support tab and click support home from the drop down menu. Now we're gonna scroll down to identify your product or search support. Type in the model of your server and select the one with Power Edge in front. Now we're gonna head over to the Drivers and Downloads tab. Under the dropdown for Operating System, we are gonna select Not Applicable. Under the dropdown for Category, we're gonna select BIOS. The download button for the BIOS update will be for an EXE file, which is only gonna run in Windows. What we want is an EFI file, so what we need to do is click the drop down arrow that's to the right of the download button. Then we're gonna to navigate to other formats and download the EFI file. So locate the EFI file that we just downloaded and simply move it over to the USB. You can just drag it over and that's all you have to do. All right, so now we need to create a bootable USB. We are gonna use a program called Rufus. So we just go into Google or to a web browser in general and search Rufus, download the program and run it once it is downloaded. Plug the USB into the computer that you downloaded Rufus on and under the device in Rufus, make sure the USB drive is selected. If you only have one USB drive plugged into your machine, it will be selected by default. Leave everything under the default settings, then click the select button and choose the EFI file that we downloaded in the previous steps. Click start to begin creating the installation USB drive. All right, now that we have our EFI file downloaded onto our USB, we just need to pop the USB into our 15th gen server and boot your server back up. During the post, we wanna hit F11 and enter the boot manager. Select system utilities in the boot manager. Select BIOS update file explorer in system utilities. Select the USB drive in the BIOS update file explorer. Now you're gonna actually see the EFI file. You're gonna to want to select the EFI file to start the BIOS update. So this is temporarily going to check the BIOS image. This may take a few minutes to do, so we like to fast forward through this part of the video not to waste anyone's time. But what will pop up is the next screen will show you that the BIOS update has started and when it starts, it's gonna show you your current BIOS version and it's gonna show you the BIOS version that you are upgrading or updating to. You're gonna to want to select continue BIOS update in order to proceed. Now do note that your system may take a few minutes before it allows you the opportunity to select the continue button. Do not worry, this delay is normal. Uh, it's just part of the process. Your system is updating the BIOS, so it will take a few minutes in the background for everything to get done. Well, hey, if you found this video helpful, do us a favor, click that like and smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, we sell new and we sell used, and we would love the opportunity to earn your data center or your home labs or business. Please email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Take care.